Okay, so here's a review of the tools um, to build your new Bonsai V2 headphone amplifier. Got some needle nose pliers, some wire cutters, some wire strippers, and a solder pump in case you make an error and you need to take the solder off the board. And you may want to use a pair of second hands. Um, I don't think it's necessary for this project, but you may want to use those. And with the soldering iron, this is a 26 watt soldering iron, and some solder paste, which is, helps with uh, the solder adhering to the board. So that pretty much covers it for the tools. Okay, so let's take a look at what comes with your V2 amplifier. Um, you'll have a schematic, a, an instruction sheet. Um, looks like this. There we are. And business card. And inside, what we're going to see is one PCB, one piece of printed circuit board for the amplifier, two capacitors, a volume knob, an LED, and two sleeves, insulation sleeves for the LED, some jumper connects, they look like a comb, those will break into just two units at a time, um, a power switch with the jumpers in the bag, um, some battery connectors, the stereo in and out for the headphone jack, um, some 1K resistors, five 1K resistors, and two 5K resistors. And many times these are just jumpers. Um, I'll go over the difference between the different types of jumpers. This is just a fancy jumper. It is a wire with a black band, meaning zero ohms resistance. So just a fancy way of saying a straight wire. Nothing special about that. But sometimes you may get just a standard straight wire that looks like this. Um, and that's just a jumper. That just goes shorts between two points. That's it. So that covers all the items. Actually, sorry, <laughs> I left out the op amp and socket. There's the Japan radio op amp and socket on a foam board and some wire and solder for your project. So what I like to do is I like to get started working with the lowest altitude, if you could call it that, on the topology on the board. So starting with the components that lay closest to the board and then building up. And the reason that works good is that sometimes some of the higher components tend to overlap or over um, shadow lower components. So just working from the ground up basically on the on the PCB. If you have any questions at any time just go to uh, um, electricsumo.com and hopefully I'll have the videos and diagrams and everything up there today. Um, this is the wires so let's get started with those just taking out of the thing we just grab one wire and on our PCB, when you're working on it, just remember by looking at the instructions, you can see two holes are in the back. So with your PCB, just lay it down on the board with the two holes in the back and get started by laying the jumpers down. Here's our first jumper, so I'm just going to put the wires in. And this is what's good with the needle nose, just pull the wire through all the way. There we go. Just join between the two points. Okay, and we're back, and there's all of our jumpers. So we've got one, two, three, four, five jumpers. Jumper wires, those are going to be your blue wires on your diagram. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got all those placed. And on the back, you always want to just check, make sure there's no solder bridges. All right, let's continue on to the next step which is going to be putting down the resistors. So now getting ready to make sure we're putting on our 1K resistors. So you can go online, look at Wikipedia, and online there's a bunch of places where you can find uh, resistor color codes. 
So by looking at our resistor, we're able to see first band is brown, so that's number one. Our second band is black, so that's zero. Third band is black, so that's zero. The fourth band is brown, so that's a multiplier of 10 ohm. So there's our 1,000 ohm, and the last band is gold for tolerance. So it, vary, it can vary plus or minus 5%. So there we are. We've got our 1Ks here. On our 10K, we can see that it's uh, first band. I'm sorry, 5K. <laughs> 5K resistor, that threw me. First band is green. Second band is black. Another black, so it's 500, zero, zero, and a multiplier of 10 ohm, the brown, and the gold band for, variant, for tolerance. So there we go. We've got our 1K, 5-1K resistors, our two 5K resistors. Now we're ready to put those on. Come back after that. Okay, and we're back. So now we've got our jumpers on and our resistors. So um, now that we've finished the lowest topology, we'll move on to the next highest, which will be the socket and the headphone input and output jacks. So we'll do those two, two items next, three items. On your op amp, you want to make sure that pin one is matched to pin one, pin one of the socket, pin one of the op amp both match. So how that's done is you'll see on the diagram there's a little notch. And on your socket, there's a little notch on the left hand side. That signifies pin one is on that side. So we're gonna drop that into the PC board. And on your op amp, you'll see a little dot on the casing. That little dot is pin one. So that pin one is going to go on this notch side on the left, and that's going to do that. Sometimes in uh, shipping, the pins will get bent around a little bit, like here on the headphone jack. You can see the pins are bent around. That's another good reason to have just a pair of needle nose pliers. You can go in and just straighten those out, and then it'll drop right in. And there we are. So now we've got our headphone jacks, our socket resistors and jumpers in place. So now we'll move on to uh, the volume pot. And there we go. The volume pot's now on there. And now we're going to move on to putting the jumper, jumper connectors 